What is going on, my guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Alejandro, and let's just do what we do best. Let's fucking talk about cars, yo. Hit it, Ivan. In today's episode of Let's Talk About Cars, yo, I wanted to talk to you guys about I found the perfect fucking Ferrari F40, and not in the way that everybody thinks. The Rattarosa thing, yeah, inspired me, but uh, there's a couple disclaimers in here. I mean, I've been so fucking bored. There's not a lot of car news. There's not a lot of car models coming out. There's pretty much nothing in the space happening. And I figured, man, you know what? Maybe you should go get a new car. But with everything that I've been telling you guys and preaching and holding back on right now with the economy, I said, what can I do to entertain myself? And also, what can I do for all of you guys watching? So. This morning, a friend of mine, Robbie, fucking love you, Robbie, what's up, sent an article. And it was an article about a 1982 Pontiac Trans Am Firebird, or a Firebird Trans Am, however you want to call it, made into a Ferrari F40. And I shit you not, it was a body kit that they sold back in the fucking day. Before Maranello, which is Ferrari headquarters, decided that, fuck you, we're not going to do this anymore. And I read this article from the drive, so I thought it was really interesting. And the more I read about it, I realized that there's more of those cars out there. And then I went into the little fucking rabbit hole of finding every other replica that exists, like the Honda, that's a Bugatti and whatnot. So this specific Firebird, really, I really like it because it does look a lot like the F40. It feels like a ratchet F40 and I, I'm, I'm all about that, you know, get them on dream, baby. Let's go. It's only $20,000. And I figured, you know, yeah, they both had a V8 and, it, and this one looks a little weird because the V8 in the Trans Am was, mu was much bigger than the one in the F40. But that's the only thing they had in common, really. One was manual the F40 and the Trans Am wasn't automatic. Obviously the F40 was way faster, lightweight, all of that good stuff. So when you're looking at pictures of this car, it looks like the hood got inflated. And obviously because of where the engine goes on the F40, which is a mid-engine car, uh, you understand and get the point. So I really like this and I think it would be a really great idea if we go and do giveaways based on themes on the website on salamandri.com for all of you guys who are there. What do you guys think about doing one with replica cars? As long as they're running, I think it's the only requirement that I'll have, right? If the car is running, it's fucking fair game for everyone. What do you guys think? And also, is there any other cars that are replicas that I'm missing out on? Or would you like the giveaway to be more like, let's restore old cars? And now we got to get creative because obviously the Supra, like for example, from the Fast and the Furious or any other movie, some of these cars have gotten really expensive, right? Especially the Fast and the Furious ones. I want to know what you guys think. Please let me know in the comments down below. Let's fucking get this party started. My name is Alejandro, people, and uh, I hope you had a good time. I hope you had a good time with me here in the car. Let's go. Let's go.